Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean Betamax tapes. Um, this particular customer gave me a couple of VHS tapes, a couple of Betas, or Betamax in the, in the rest of the world, but in the US, Betamax. Um, this is very common with all these online box transfer companies. This particular customer went to this place right here and they, he paid the money, they didn't transfer the stuff, they've got their stickers on them, and this is extremely common, real quick, with all of these online box companies. The reason I've got all these boxes up here, because people send their stuff to them, they don't transfer any, they just absolutely trash. You're better off doing it yourself, or giving it to a company like me, five-star rated, been doing this for 20 years. Your stuff is old, everyone is underestimating the crap that's sitting in your garage, attic, even in your closet, how badly it's deteriorating over time. So when you're handing them off to these numbskull companies on Facebook ads, all that kind of stuff, and you're getting trash back or stuff not transferred at all, for very minor basic stuff that can be fixed, they're not refunding your money, they're, not, they're putting it all in these handbooks here, all a bunch of crap written in there that they're not doing anything for the money that they're giving you. So be very, very careful with all these companies. If you want it done right, you're gonna have to pay a reputable company to get this done right. If you wanna do it yourself, I'm gonna show you how to remove the mold from the Betamax tape. So, there, there are cleaners out there. Now this is one that was made, stopped made in 1993 um, and you know, they don't work, everything I have here is old. So there's no manufacturers making anything ever again. Sony stopped making beta in 93. So all of the old players, mechanisms, repair guys, very hard to find. Betamax decks, you're looking at thousands of dollars um, to get a quality one. Now, getting back on track here with this. So what you have to do is transplant this into a VHS tape and then clean it a couple of times, depending on how clean it is, because you can put it in a player and um, and you need very tiny screwdrivers as well, electric ones uh, work for me. And then you open it up. You gotta be very careful. What I recommend doing is taking a picture of this so you know where everything goes now with vhs i've already opened up this vhs here and taken out the guts here now same thing again take a photo of everything and then you'll go into transplant this very carefully over there we go over to the vhs um, and you do need delicate hands with this. So it is fiddly, <laughs> tweezers help. Um, let's have a look here and you can fast forward through. Hold on, I gotta sit down here. I've been doing this for many, many years, but it still is very fiddly work indeed. Come on. And especially when you're dealing with delicate memories. Now this particular one here, Christmas 1986. This particular customer's out in California. He uh, he said he might appear in a, a video, um, a testimonial video, because I've already done successfully the other ones. And these are very precious memories near and dear to him. And let's have a look here. This bit needs to go here. There we go. And then we carefully place it back. There we go. And let's get the screws. <laughs> the screws are over on the other side. Stand by. Uh, all right, let's have a look here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take the screws out of here and 
Oh! And gonna take him out. Yeah, these are the ones here. I thought those from the Betamax. So we're gonna screw them back in to here. I was only missing two screws, but make sure you have all your screws in place. And here we go. Thing is with these electric screwdrivers, they, they come out easily, but they don't go back in. Let's see. And you can skip forward through this bit here. Now, one thing to note, when you are using a tape cleaner, uh, the, what you need beyond everything here, let's see, be very careful. Oh, this is all gonna be lined up. Okay, so, and the reason I'm doing it in this because never made any uh, machines to clean this stuff. So I'm using isopropyl here. This stuff is uh, not for the faint of heart. And if you are gonna put it in a spray bottle like this, you have to have a bleach resistant spray because it will eat through the plastic. Um, and what I like to do on these rollers, I just changed the rollers out and I drenched them here. And these rollers, these are chamois right here. So they do not make any of these bits at all because they stopped making this stuff in 93. So you've got to improvise on everything that you do. And then I'm gonna put that there and you can only put it in one way. Let's put that back in. Come on, there we go. All right, so, and this little lip bit you don't need it's just kind of a protective thing. And I like to keep it down um, just so gravity, um, let's have a look here. We've got to put it in carefully here. There we go. All right, so it's in. So as you can see the mold right here, zoom in on that. Okay, I'm gonna close the door and I'm going to fast forward it. So you've got rewind and fast forward. So I'm gonna fast forward it, and then I'm gonna rewind it. So here we go. Yeah, actually this does work. So as it's going, it's cleaning it so through the rollers here. And you can already see there was a portion of it Yeah, you can see on the right hand side is like dark black and then on the left is the mold that was because where it was previously left off. So right now it's going and these are the ones that I did previously that were absolutely caked in mold and now they're clean and this was moldy. It still is a little bit, but it was massively, a massive improvement. Um, and this was the company, they're actually based down in Chandler um, in Phoenix. I'm based in Phoenix. But while that is um, going, you can kind of see it here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all that way and then I'm gonna go that way back. a Couple times, uh, change out the chamois as well again, which is painstaking process. You need a pair of scissors. You need to measure it, cut it, measure it, so it fits exactly in these rollers. Then you've got to get your tweezers, or I like to get one of these, and put them back together. It is a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, very upfront about that. This is all an absolute pain in the ass. Um, here's the cleaner right here. This is Sydney, the cameraman. But while that's going, I'm gonna spin this around here. Um, if you are looking for a transfer company, <laughs> I can do it. But um, if you're looking for bargain basement, all that kind of stuff, forget about it. Um, I do amazing 
heartfelt work, which is what you need when you are choosing a transfer company. They need to have, uh, they need to have a brain, they need to have a heart, and they need to be like on the ball. All of these transfer companies out there, the big ones, they're hiring numbskulls. Unfortunately, it's just the nature of the beast. They're hiring people that didn't even know what a VHS tape was yesterday, and they're introducing them and they're just letting them roll with it. And when they put them in the players, these tapes are old, there are issues. The players are old. And that's why they get everyone on the Facebook ads, the comments, everything you see with all these transfer companies, people are just pissed off. They're like, I waited six months to get all my stuff back and it's all fuzzy files and you didn't even transfer half of it. You've got these crappy stickers on them that say due to environmental, blah, 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 we can't transfer anything. No refunds, that's it. They just put these lazy stickers on them. And these are precious videotapes of uh, movies that you got one copy of and people are just throwing them away thinking, oh, that's it. So when you go and look for a company, you need to go to Google, not Yelp. Yelp is Gestapo, uh, modern day Gestapo. Google and see hundreds of reviews. If you see 20, everyone's got 20 friends that <laughs> they got leaving reviews. And uh, you need to see a high number. It's way more higher than that now and a little bit of social proof in and hopefully a retail establishment where you can see where the work is done they've been there a long time this is a map where all of the work around the world via youtube i get in i'm from cheltenham in england um and as we come back here i have a lot of equipment all right there we go look at that done so what i'm going to do is Rewind this and hold the camera a sec. Okay, I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna eject it this way. Okay, be very careful with it. And look at all this mold inside. And where's my air canister? Here we go. Blow that out. Look at all the dirt, the, the mold here. So then, what I'm going to do now is unscrew this and what I'm going to do is unscrew this and come on and clean out the bits in there because if you don't clean it out on the rewind, it's just still in there. So you're kind of you know, bathing in dirty bath water, so to speak. And I want to get as much out as I can here. And yeah, look, you can see all the, all the, the mold right here. So I'm going to get um, some of this. It's a lint-free cloth. So you can get all this stuff on Amazon and everything. And give that a good, good dousing. And... Let's um, blow this out here as much as we can without disturbing. Okay, so that's taken part of it off. And then I'm gonna just run my finger here inside of the plastic and clean out what I can and then and the thing is I mean you have to do this you're not going to get a picture or if you could do it's going to be terrible and also especially with um, Betamax is you know these players are thousands of dollars so you're putting them in and you're just wrecking your player um, and uh, let's have a look okay there we go nice and clean Clean and nice, and we're gonna. This can get tricky just a little bit. Can unravel the right way. Okay. So. So Sydney is my son, and uh, what's your feedback on this city? Uh, Pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Good times, eh? Uh, uh, I mean, and some people just don't care. They're like, eh, whatever. But for those of you that do, that uh, 
really care about this stuff. And want someone on the other end that cares as well, then I can help you out. Um, for those of you in the industry, especially if you work or own one of these ridiculous box companies that are scamming people out of millions of dollars, please, please stop advertising. Stop. Take some of that ad budget of the millions of dollars of your ad budget and put that back into cleaning your goddamn equipment because I'm sick and tired of having to listen to the stories and it's crazy that these million dollar companies and there's like Gordon, Ra not Gordon, Ra um, Dave Ramsey. Hey, look, you can you get me in frame? Dave Ramsey, that guy, okay? Good guy, whatever. Just legacy box, legacy box. Look, all these influencers, all these people on Facebook that are just advertising, or, you know, affiliate marketers for all these online box companies and they're just killing people's memories they're just they're, and they're not doing any due diligence and there's no consumer awareness out there. so you know the good guys out there that are doing great work have to listen to people constantly going how much do you charge oh no this other company they'll do it for five bucks a tape and you're like dude go right ahead because you're not going to get anything back for your money and it drives me at the wall because all this stuff Yes, it takes time, but if you're taking people's money and they're not giving them anything back in return, at least refund the money. They're not even doing that. They're just a bunch of con artists and they want all the money, but none of the work. And it drives me up the wall because it creates a false economy for people like me that are honest business owners that are doing, you know, all this extra work. And then people go, oh, I'm not paying that. I'm just going to go off to this company. My average order is about 600 bucks. So give you an idea if you spent thousands of dollars on camcorders back in the day, um, then, uh, you know, it's all relative. I mean, if you bought camcorders back in the 80s, you'd spend in thousands of dollars. Okay, I'm going to give that just a, a crude little uh, squirt there. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to flip rewind here. It's a rewind and then start. And uh, there we go. But it works. And then after I've done this, you can't put a Betamax tape in a VHS cassette and then put that into a VHS player. It's not going to read it. It's not going to work. Chat behind you, got channel. Um, it's got to be put back into uh, the Betamax and then put into the Betamax player. So let's have a look here. And I'm going to open this one while that's rewinding. And then, by the way, I don't edit any of my videos because I just don't have the time. But you can skip through these videos and uh, see, you know, get to the point. There are going to be chapter markers in them. That's the one thing I tried to find the time to do so you can get back. So, yeah, look at this. It's nice and clean. So, and also on here, Beta Max. Come on. Come on. I mean, I know why these companies don't do any of this stuff because it is royally um, a pain in the you know what. All right, so come on, open it. So, there's one there. So if you do have two, you can um, then realize where it's gonna go. Um, and also it helps having a screwdriver with a light on it, so you can see that this goes like that, up and around, around and down, 
and uh, yeah, it's still going, still rewinding. You can see it's cleaning it nicely. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this rolling. Oh, these are the stickers that these POS companies put on videotapes, okay? So if you have had your stuff transferred or you're thinking about going through them, you, they come back with all these stickers on all these tapes, right? And I mean, I've got good eyesight and I can't even, what's that? Really like it, you can't, it's so small, it's insane. Do you mean to read it? So I'll read one while this is rewinding. This one is, this is the, the old one they used to have because all of their files were just looking like shit and they would just blame the videotape. Due to the age of this media, there were existing quality issues on the item that may be reflected in the digitized cap copy as well, which is absolutely bullshit. Everything I've retransferred has been perfectly fine. And the reason why they've got crappy looking pictures is because the video heads on their players are not maintained, clean, replaced as needed. All this stuff wears out and it needs to be continually maintained. So there were a lot of people that weren't buying this BS, right? So. Or they were just like, wait a minute, uh, they got 22 tapes they sent off to get to 22 files back. So instead of even giving the customer the opportunity to watch a bunch of fuzz, now they came out with a new VS sticker, which has got, you can't even, my God, hold on, this is reflecting. It says, the item arrived with some existing damage. We still converted it doing everything we could to ensure the highest possible quality transfer. Oh my, it's such bullshit. However, given your media's original state, the transfer doesn't meet up to our normal quality standard. Absolutely laughable. I mean, shut up. I had, and there's another sticker they've got one where they don't even transfer it at all. So they're not even transferring, not even bothering. They just go, due to environmental issues, due to environmental issues, we cannot transfer this media. It is beyond repair, blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Look at that, nice and clean, okay? So, that's that. Now um, comes the interesting work. And yeah, for all these companies out there with uh, big bucks and you know, you've got a big payroll, that means you've got a lot of employees there. Maybe you should get some of your employees to watch this video and then they can learn how to fix stuff. You're welcome. This is free tutorials for all these crappy companies and for the owners of these companies those two guys that own legacy box that are like hi my name's nick hi my name's Bear, but just fuck up, just go away um all right so nice and clean And, and you've got to take it in at an angle because these things are on um, kind of gears. They've got to get it under this thing here. There we go. Okay. All right. And I do, you know, as long as I've been doing this, <laughs> I still use a, a point of reference here just to double check that it's all going to, um, going in the right way. That's that there. And oh, let's just double check. I want to know where my flashlight is, but okay. And that's going. Um, why didn't I get a light on this table? Okay, here we go. So come on, come on. Again, you can fast forward through this bit. This is delicate stuff. Come on. There's a little tiny um, plastic lip that it needs to get around. There we go. Lovely jubbly. 
All right, let's see. This is really, really on the top end. Christmas, okay, I'm gonna give that a little, uh, get an extra little bits out of there. Fingers crossed. And let's get the screws. Remember the screws are important uh, to place in a place where you can actually see them. And let's go there. I'm not gonna put the top lip thing back on because that is just, that's that. Give it an extra little bit of tightness there. I don't know if you can notice there's white, gentle Hawaiian music playing in the background, which is much required when you're doing this stressful kind of bitty work. Okay, so you can see right there, night and day difference. Now let the, the uh, let's have a look here. So, all right, Sydney's gonna hand the phone over to me because he's gotta go. Uh -huh. 26 minutes for this video. All right, thank you for holding the camera. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, okay, so I have, uh, this plugged in. This is a Betamax player. Oh, you gotta go around the back or something. Or just use the key. Um, I don't know. Just go around the back, just run around. Anyway, so that is that. So I'm gonna put this in here, Christmas 86, fingers crossed. So capturing through USB, Elgato, which is great for those of you out there that are like, oh, you could use that. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of different options if you want to upscale and you want to create like, you know, these crazy file sizes and ridiculousness, which, you know, average consumer is not willing to pay for. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, come on. What is going on here? Well, let's go. Okay, got another one here. Why won't that go? All right, I'm gonna have to stop this video now because I'm one-handed and uh, I've got to figure out why this is not going in.